In this video, we give you a few tips that can help you improve your experience when taking a course in DB2 University. We will cover the following topics, setting up the date and time in your profile, navigating through a course, and reviewing a course structure. When reviewing a course structure, we will talk about the welcome section, lessons, and the final exam section. Let's start by setting up the date and time in your profile in this system so that all dates and times displayed are local to you. This is important to avoid confusion about deadlines for assignments or the time and date of the final exam. This is done by changing the time zone following these steps. From the navigation block, drill down to My Home. Within the My Profile setting, click on Edit Profile. Scroll down until you find the time zone field and choose the right one for your country. So for example, let's say I'm in Vancouver, Canada. Then I would choose the option for Americas slash Vancouver. If you don't see your city listed, you can scroll further down and specify the time zone based on UTC time. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and make sure to click on the Update Profile button. Once this is done, the time shown in DBT University would look local to you. For example, let's take a look at the final exam section. The instructions will say things like the final exam is at 8 a.m. Toronto time. But below this text, the system should be giving you the local time for your city. Let's now talk about course navigation. Navigating through a course is fairly easy if you plan to follow the course sequentially, which is what we recommend. Simply scroll down to see the course content. If you prefer to use the navigation menu, keep the following in mind. On the left side of a course, you have two blocks, Navigation and Settings. From the Navigation or Settings block, take a look at the little icons at the top right corner. For the first one, with a plus or a minus symbol, is used to expand or collapse the menu. The second one is to move the whole block to the dock. This may be convenient when you want the whole screen to be used for the course content and also want to scroll down since the dock will remain fixed. If you click on navigation in the dock, you can see the expanded menu. If you want to undock this block, simply click on the first little icon on the top right hand corner again. To go to a specific item in a course, you can use the navigation block and expand the little twisties that look like triangles until you find the item you wish to review. Then click on that item and the contents will be shown on the right side. If you would like to collapse all lessons except the one you're interested in, click on the box at the right corner of the lesson. For example, let me click on this box for lesson four. As you can see, only the welcome section and lesson floor four will be displayed. If you choose to go to the bottom of the page, you can choose to jump to a given lesson. For example, I choose to jump to Lesson 2. Click anywhere outside that box and you'll be taken to that lesson. If you would like to see all lessons, again, when you scroll down, go back to the top right corner of a lesson and click the two little rectangle icons. Now all lessons will be displayed when you scroll down. One last thing I would like to mention is the grade book. You can look at your grades, assuming that they were marked by your instructor, at any time by going to the Settings block and choosing Grades. Let's move on and talk about the course structure in DBT University. Typically a course has this structure, a welcome section, lessons, a final exam section. The welcome section includes general information about the course, such as the prerequisites to take the course, the grading scheme, the deadlines, and so on. In this section, you may also find links to download all the course material, videos and transcripts. This can be handy in case your internet connection is slow and you cannot watch videos online. Whenever you have a question or, or encounter a problem while taking a course, refer to this section for help since it includes links to the course forum, the course chat room, the online materials, reading material and more. We recommend you monitor the course form often as it is used as the main means of communication by the instructors of the course. You can optionally subscribe to the form which would send you copies of posts to your email. Once you are familiar with the welcome section, you can start the course by taking lessons. Each lesson will explain first its objectives and provide the instructions to follow. 
Most of the content is provided using videos like this one, and the videos have subtitles. In addition, transcripts of each video are provided in PDF format right after the video. This can be handy, especially if you want to refresh your memory about a topic you learned earlier. You can easily search in the transcript for, for the topic. This is a lot easier than searching within a video. Whenever you complete a task in a lesson, like watching a video or transcript, a check mark will be appear beside the task. However, you need to click on the refresh button in your browser to see it. Lessons may have reading material and some of the tasks may be optional. If they are optional, they will be clearly marked as such. Lessons may also have assignments that you need to complete and submit. Typically, there are two types of assignments. The ones where you need to upload and submit a file for reviewing and marking, the ones where you are presented with an online form where you just need to type some content. In most courses, you are only allowed to submit your assignment once, so make sure you review carefully your assignment before submitting. Some activities within a lesson may be restricted because they are dependent on the completion of other activities. For example, you may not be able to access assignment number two instructions if assignment number one is not completed. The reasons why an activity may not be available are clearly displayed. Now let's move on to the final section in a course, the final exam section. The final exam section includes a practice exam. You can take this practice exam at any time and as many times as you wish. Trying out this practice exam will let you see the format of most exams in Duke DBT University. A few things to note. Questions and answers within each question are shuffled randomly. Questions have penalties for incorrect answers. That's it. We hope you enjoy the courses in DBT University. Bye now.